all hail Biafra. This is Biafra Liberation Army Network coming to you again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and comment. The headline news. Nigerian Army confirms delay in payment of over salary by Tunapu's government. Begs troops for patience. Mother of former president Musaya Radua dies in Kastina. Government house on fire. U.S. seizes Venezuelan president Maduro's aircraft over alleged criminal accusation. The news in details. The Nigerian army has confirmed that the president's Bola Tinubu-led government has yet to pay its personnel their over salaries and allowances. This was disclosed in a memo issued by the army authorities which Sunrise Daily TV obtained on Monday while urging the soldiers to exercise patience, saying efforts were ongoing to ensure prompt payment of their entitlement. Delay employment of salaries and bonuses of the Nigerian army is not a reoccurring event in Nigeria. In October 2022, some soldiers had lamented the delayed payment of their salaries and the non-increment of such over 10 years that they had been in service. An army sergeant had collaborated that their monthly salaries was among lowest in the security personnel, stressing that to feed their families and relatives now a challenge. Chief of Staff of the Biafra Republic government in exile also condemned the social media ban, directly addressing Mark Zuckerberg. In her statement, she accused Zuckerberg of insensitivity and questioned his motivations. Mark Zuckerberg, your decision to hamper, block the WhatsApp, Facebook, and Instagram page of the Biafra Prime Minister Simon Ekpa shows that you are not a sincere individual. It also shows how insensitive you were to the plights of millions of indigenous Nigerians and Biafrans murdered daily by terrorists reintegrated by the Nigerian government and politicians, she said. Biafra Liberation Forces Intensify Efforts Against Nigerian Oppression In a show of resilience and determination, the Biafra Liberation Army and Biafra resistance fighters have intensified their efforts against Nigerian security operatives in the former Anambra state. Recent actions in Nui and Nobi have demonstrated their unwavering commitment to the liberation of Biafra. In Nui, an attack resulted in the death of a Nigerian policeman after an improvised explosive device was deployed. A week later, another police officer was eliminated in Nobi during a checkpoint operation. These actions underscore the resolve of Biafra Liberation Forces to reclaim their land and protect their people. Prime Minister Haji Adada, the mother of the late former president Omar Musa Yaradua, is dead. This was disclosed to newsmen by a family source on Monday evening. Haji Adada was the mother of Omar Musa Yaradua, who served as the president of Nigeria from 27 until his death in 2010. She was known for her strong character, her influence on her son's life and career. Dada held a unique position in the political arena of Nigeria. She was the wife and mother of political heavyweight who played key roles in the country's politics from independence to her demise. She also had three granddaughters, married to prominent politicians in the country. Thus, over the year, her house was in most visits for political gladiators who visited the state capital for political activities. The Katsina State Government House in Katsina has reportedly been gutted by fire early Monday morning. However, the cause of this fire had not been yet ascertained. A source whose house is close to the government house, Al Haji Bashir, told newsmen in Katsina that the fire started around 6 a.m. The correspondent's effort to speak with the Chief Press Secretary to the Governor, Ibrahim Mohammed, proved abortive 
as he failed to respond to his calls. And now foreign news. The United States government flew the Venezuelan presidential aircraft to Florida on Monday. This came after the U.S. government seized Venezuelan's president Nicolas Maduro's airplane after determining that its acquisition was in violation of U.S. sanctions, among other criminal issues. Before now, there was an unfriendly relationship between the U.S. and Venezuela. This seizure, especially the fact that it happened in Dominican Republic, marks an escalation of the conflict between both countries. This is even as the U.S. continues to investigate what it regards as corrupt practices by Venezuela's government. In a statement, U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland said that the Justice Department seized an aircraft we alleged was illegally purchased for $13 million through a shell company and smuggled out of the United States for use by Nicolas Maduro and his cronies. The plane, a dissolved Falcon 900EX, was purchased from a company in Florida, the Justice Department said, and was illegally exported in April 2023 from the United States to Venezuela through the Caribbean. And here we come to the end of the news. I am your presenter, Obasi Maduna, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. For your other placement and event coverage, do well to hit the details on your screen.